a new film stalked by Street Candy, Street Savvy, and a short lesson about polarizers. That's what we're doing today. Hi, I'm Dill, and this is... You know, the show where we pretend like my opinion matters, but really, we all know I just want attention. But first, what the heck is Street Candy Street Savvy? I don't know, and the people who do know won't say. Some people are saying Kodak Royal Gold 400, others are saying Portra, again. Let me know what you think it is. Let's go. I like it, it feels very kodak -y to me, but what do I know, really? I also struggled to get good color balance on all of these. And that brings us to lesson number one, or I guess I, the only lesson. I had two, but I scrapped the second one because it was just not worth it. Anyways, polarizers, what are they? What do they do? Do you use them? Should you use them? They're filters. They both are the filters. I said that, but they come to circular and linear. You're probably familiar with circular due to digital sensors nowadays, but their purpose is to cut reflected light or polarized light. Classic example is using one on a cloudy day and you'll create contrast and you will get the clouds to pop from the sky, essentially, or the atmosphere. So in a rush to get this film stock out because I want to be the first one to get it out because I'm playing that YouTube game, you know? I shot a roll and then when I went to scan that roll, I realized that my lens was further out of calibration than I thought, but not really, I found out. Anyways, more on that later. I shot two rolls. So the first roll was with 35, and then I decided to switch to my 21, but I don't have a polarizer for my 21, so I just had to deal with a lot of reflected atmosphere, which is blue. And so I had to spend a lot of time color correcting blue out of here. Polarizers also help with saturation. I don't know if that's obvious. Usually, that's why I use one, is for the color saturation. It cuts atmospheric reflection, right? So if you're cutting all that reflection, you're left with more of a color that you're trying to represent, what you're trying to achieve. So yeah, that's, if your colors are flat, get a polarizer. Uh, anyways, I don't know, like 14 stars. Eight. Good scans, good resolution. Eight. Stars. Okay, first of all, I think my scans are a bit soft. Remember earlier when I said I shot two rolls of film for this episode? Well, what happened was I shot a roll of film on my 35 art seven artisans, my least favorite lens, by the way. And while I was shooting, I knew my lens was out of calibration. If you've ever shot a rangefinder, you can kind of tell, you can just see. But it wasn't so far out of calibration that I couldn't find focus. And then in my head, I was like, I'm at F11. It's fine. It, it'll be fine. Some will be maybe off, but for how I shoot what I'm shooting right now, it should be okay. Anyways, I go to scan them and I realize, well, so I thought, but everything's just like a grainy blur. Like you don't really know what anything is. You can't, it's just, you know, when like you take a digital camera and it doesn't get focused, that's essentially what it looked like. So in a panic, I go, I shoot another roll, switch to my 21 this time without the polarizer. We just went through this. And then when I go out to scan it, lo and behold, I'm in the exact same position. Now, because I'm in a panicked hyper-focus mode, I quickly, very quickly realized that it's because I changed something in my scanning setup and didn't adjust for it. I literally moved the camera by a full inch, roughly, and just didn't account for that when I went to scan the first roll. I just went straight into my normal process and it obviously didn't work. So, 
made some minor adjustments, and lo and behold, my theory about the first roll that I shot was pretty correct, and they're mostly right. And because there's a polarizer, they're a lot easier to color correct. Anyways, don't be me. These scans are still soft. 8.8 .8 stars. Very, very, very fine grain. Again, feels very Kodaki to me. What do you guys think? What do you think it is? Tell me. Get my engagement up, please. 12.3. I knew that. I wasn't looking at my notes. Thanks, love you, bye.